Uh, it's a Monday morning. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Mal Williams here. It's really good to see everybody. It's, uh, we have something in the way of the camera? Let me see. Yeah. Boop, boop. Anyway, everybody, good morning and thanks for joining us on Marathon Mondays. It's uh, Thanksgiving week. Todd's right now trying to get the adjuster. Pete Sutton just walked in. Everybody say good morning to Pete. We are live on uh, Marathon Mondays with Mal. Everybody uh, knows Pete. Uh, he's the head of marketing here. He wears a lot of hats. Um, Pete? Yeah, not today. I forgot him at home. Ah, I like it. Well, here's the deal, everybody. It's Thanksgiving week, and we're going around uh, the Marathon uh, Coburg location. We're going to ask everybody what they're thankful for. Uh, another thing that would be really neat is if you posted right there on Facebook what you're thankful for. That's kind of a neat thing that we thought of this morning. Um, so also let us know where you're watching from. Um, before we get to Pete, because we're going to put him on the spot, he doesn't know we're doing this, uh, we're going to ask Pete what he's thankful for. But I want to let you know what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for my wife and son and my family and their health. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity uh, to work for an amazing company um, that thinks outside the box. I'm thankful to work for a company that cares about its employees, that has history, um, that makes an amazing product. And I'm thankful for the people that watch Marathon Mondays. I'm thankful for all of you, from the owners to the future owners, to the, post, uh, to the, the owners that are no longer Marathon Coach owners. Everybody that still continues to watch Marathon Mondays with Mal and comment, thank you so much. And I want to show one thing off this morning. I got this. Uh, Sarah, uh, actually we're going to go and say hi to Sarah later and find out what she's thankful for. But Sarah gave me this this morning. This is a, something that came in the mail for me. And it's from one of our viewers, uh, our friend HB, who comments a lot. He had made a suggestion to me. And Pete, you don't know this. This is so cool. Take, take a look at this. So, HB made a suggestion to me when I, I was uh, holding I was holding the phone, doing it myself, and he made a suggestion on how I could stabilize it better. And he actually bought this and sent it to me as a gift. So I know he he probably doesn't want me to call him out on uh, on live, but I'm thankful to HB for sending this. I'm thankful for a lot of things this year. And so uh, thank you to everybody for watching and commenting. And uh, welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal, Thanksgiving edition. Let's get it started with Pete Sutton. Pete, what are you thankful for? Uh, the biggest thing for me this year is everybody's been healthy. That's yes. a good thing. We've seen some, some illnesses in the family in the past years, so having a, having a couple of years of good health is, uh, is a nice thing. Absolutely. So I can't argue with that. That's right. For our health, I think we're going to hear that a lot. Um, we keep it in perspective. Uh, it's something that we that my family talks about a lot is keeping things in perspective, and and the fact that we have our health and others don't uh, makes us thankful for that. So, um, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. All right. So thank you, Pete. We're gonna we're gonna head out and find out what kind of trouble we can get into. Want to show you this again, everybody. If you haven't seen this before, uh, this is. Pete's dry erase board. There's several of them throughout his office, uh, but Mickey and Pete and myself and Todd, this is kind of where we write ideas for Marathon Mondays. There's all kinds of different shows from going to a dog park, which is a, a big thing that marathon owners like to do, uh, to looking into um, what, what goes into welding a shell together. Uh, if you have any ideas, for future shows, and I know a lot of you do, let us know so we can add it to the dry erase board. We got a lot of Mondays coming up, so I'm thankful for that. Let's go check it out. Thanks, Pete. See you soon. All right. So we are going to head into the engineering room where all of our brilliant engineers are and uh, see who's in there. Also, after that, we're going to go see Al Christensen and Brenda Kraft in the interior design suite. So let's uh, head in and see what's going on in engineering. I think I saw Bob and Jay in here earlier. There he is. 
Okay. So Bob's got to go down on the floor. We're going to make our way down to the floor and ask him uh, real quickly what he's thankful for. Mark, you got a minute? Sure. Everybody, it's Mark Bryant. I wanted oh. to ask you what you're thankful for. Oh, boy. What am I thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for friends, family, a uh, good place to work. Absolutely. And a good, fun product to work on, and all our wonderful customers. That's that's as, as well as said. Dave, what do you say? Absolutely. Families first. And, uh, you know, the marathon family is a big part of it, too. Absolutely. That's. That, I think that's going to be a common thread that we're going to hear this morning. So thank you, everybody, sure, and man. appreciate your time, you guys. All right. All right. So that was Dave Dolby and Mark Bryant from our from our production team. Let's go in here. This is always a fun room. A room that we know quite well on Marathon Mondays. Everybody, Brenda Kraft on this side. Good morning. Al Christensen. Hey, how you doing, Mal? Good. Good morning to you all. We are live on Facebook. We're going around the building and asking Marathon employees what they're thankful for. So if you don't mind us invading your space. Oh, she's got her list. <laughs> so what are you thankful for this year? Well, I'm guessing that America, Faith, Family, all that's been listed. So I'm going to say high thread count sheets, oh, yes. the color teal, Netflix, Strong coffee, rainy days. Let's see what else here. Opposable thumbs. Opposable thumbs and Netflix. I like it. Te the color teal. Yeah. Very it's, nice. It's always a happy color. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what is your favorite color? Is that even a possible, can you even answer that question? No. When people ask, I mean, when you ask a five-year-old, that's one thing. But right. someone who does it for a profession, yeah, colors hard. and fabrics and textures, what, what would you answer besides already saying I'd teal? I'd have to say teal is the most consistent because I've loved it since I was little. See? But every color has a different, like yellow is just happy. I mean, colors have purpose. Yeah. I'd say teal. I like it. Brenda Craft, everyone. Thankful for a lot of things on Thanksgiving week. Al Christensen. Hey, Mel. Not a stranger to Marathon Mondays. <laughs> Al, so tell us what you're thankful for. I am thankful for my wife and my kids. I'm thankful for health. I'm thankful for the company I work for. Um, I'm thankful for our country and the country we live in. Um, so many things, but those would be the be the highlights. That's I suppose. great. Suppose that's that's exactly what we're looking for this morning. Is you know. What, what you're thankful for, and we've heard a lot of that, and we've heard a lot of other things, and so thank you so much for Absolutely. for letting us come in here to you and Brenda. Absolutely. So it's always fun coming in here. We're not going to... What are you thankful for, Mel? Uh, you know, we were. I kind of kicked it off this morning by saying I was thankful for my wife and my son mm -hmm. and my family, um, the support of an amazing company, mm -hmm. um, and it, it really is. I've worked for several companies... Um, the last company I worked for was a great company that I worked for for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, coming to Marathon was an amazing experience and has been. Uh, you know, I've been here January 1st was my first day. Mm -hmm. And so being here uh, this whole year, uh, Thanksgiving is really important to me. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of great changes this year. Awesome. Uh, we were just down in Indio. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I was down there with uh, Jim Cogley. Mm -hmm. uh, and Michael LeBrowser and uh, Sarah, mm -hmm. but we were we were down there, and you know I'm thankful that I work for a company that makes an amazing product mm -hmm. that loves to show it off in the proper way, mm -hmm. and that I guess that kind of piggybacks on the fact that our marketing team is so good. They definitely are. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thankful for a lot of things. You know what's funny? I could probably stand here and talk about all kinds <laughs> of stuff. Well, we're thankful for you. Because uh, Mal on Mondays has been uh, just a blast, and uh, Thank you. I know we get a lot of positive comments from all the customers that come in, and uh, it's amazing how they look forward. It's almost like a cereal because yes. they they can't wait to watch next Monday and what's coming down the pike. So. That's great, and you know I appreciate you saying that. We haven't missed a Monday mm -hmm. since starting. 
And that was my intention behind it is that let's not miss a Monday. Mm -hmm. It's just like a podcast. You don't want to miss because people are used to coming on. Um, you know, 75% of the time we go live, which people enjoy. And sometimes we can't be here. Right, so right. We, uh, we, we have ones that we filmed. But yeah, it's awesome. I love it. So, no, that's awesome. I, you know, uh, someone that's a, a regular viewer sent us a stabilizing uh, selfie stick. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's, that's awesome. You know, it's, it's awesome. I, I, he's a regular viewer. You know, <laughs> he's very he's very honest, and he's he's he knows when to tell us we're doing a good job, sure. and he knows when to tell us that we need some help. <laughs> and so HB sent us this through Amazon as a gift. Well, to, when, you, when you first started this, I was like, why are you doing this live? And right. why not just film it and correct all the. Uh, mistakes but live, live shows the blemishes it yeah. live is really cool and yeah. I I, uh, I was totally wrong it, it has a definitely uh, adds to the whole Mal on Monday deal so uh, and you make it real easy uh, thank you to, to you know be interviewed so well I, I appreciate that you know we really enjoy it. we really enjoy coming in here this is uh, by far one of the most exciting rooms in the building. <laughs> Part of that is because of you guys. <laughs> We're out of control. Opposable thumbs. <laughs> Thank you, Mal. Thank you. Look at all. Look at all of this here. We won't. Uh, we won't ask any questions because then we'll, we're here for another half hour. Because I see some exciting. So I see some backlit fabrics. It's awesome. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Have a great Thanksgiving. You too. Like I told you, the most exciting room in the building, right? All right. So before we moved, uh, you know what? Do we have any comments, questions? Anybody that... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so Ken says good morning from Toronto. Good morning, Ken. Steve Eaton says hello, Mal. We have Lee Ruffin tuning in from Tennessee. Lee Ruffin in Tennessee. Excellent. Jeff in Atlanta. We have Kyra Mitt from New York. Jean is watching from Quebec City and says, keep up the good work. See you next Monday. Mark Judd is watching from Motor Coach Resort St. Lucie. Wow. Um, which I know that Marathon has quite the um, quite the showing at. And says, yes. happy Thanksgiving to everyone at Marathon. And Ken says, hello from New Jersey. Um, Luke from Belgium. And um, Angie from downstairs might also be saying... Uh-oh. Might, might be. Good Angie. morning from Angie. I think we should go downstairs and find Angie and see what she's thankful for. So, you know, that's really cool. I'm thankful that a lot of you are coming on. We've got people as far as... Well, Belgium. Mm -hmm. We've got people watching in Belgium and people watching in, in St. Lucie, Florida. So, thank you so much to everybody for watching. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs and see Sarah. Actually, you know what? Let's go see Sarah in, there's a fake tree there. Let's go see Sarah in marketing. I'm thankful that it's coming up to Christmas pretty soon, right? All right. Good morning. Good morning, Mal. Everybody, this is Sarah with the marketing team. Hello. So we're going around the building and asking everybody what they're thankful for. Sure. What What are you thankful for? Well, uh, my husband and I moved here in January, and we didn't know anyone, and we didn't have work or anything like that. So I guess I have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. Um, we've met some really great people here, and we both have amazing jobs, and we're really happy. So I'm very grateful that everything fell into place, and we've got such a great community here in Oregon. That's great, and that's kind of a testament, uh, if I could piggyback on that idea, it's kind of a testament to the Marathon family. Sarah is not only new to Marathon, but new to this entire community, and her and her husband are enjoying being part of it, and uh, we were just down together uh, in Indio, California at a couple of uh, events that the marketing team uh, supported, um, so uh, you know, a lot of you got to meet Sarah down there. And um, I, th I think it was a fun first trip for you. Right. And I, I always enjoy going down there and meeting um, marathon owners and people that aren't marathon owners, people that are just interested in our product. So 
Awesome. Thank you for letting yeah, us uh, you. invade your space. There's a teddy bear on the wall over yeah, there. I like it. My little buddy. That's good. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's head downstairs and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. I'm going to drop this off in my office. That's a great gift from HB. I can't get over that. downstairs for many of you who haven't seen this is the um, this is the this is the lobby of the uh, corporate offices here in Coburg and it's a it's a really nice setup with this spiraling uh, staircase we don't always get to see this on camera so this was actually designed uh, by our engineering team and built by uh, marathon employees go around the corner and see if we can grab Sarah here. Good morning. <laughs> so we're live on Marathon Mondays. Everybody, this is Sarah. And if you haven't met Sarah, I'm surprised because Sarah is the first person that uh, you get to see when you come through the front doors, whether you come as a customer, whether you come for service and you have to go to the other side of the building, or you come for the daily tours. Don't forget we do those uh, daily tours at 11.30 every day. And if you can't make 11.30, just come on in. We'll, we'll figure out how to work you into a tour. So Sarah, we're, we're going around asking people what they're thankful for. Because it's, it's Thanksgiving week. We've already been throughout the building a little bit. We're gonna head uh, over. Oh, have you been watching? I'm watching it. I love it, right on. So tell us what you're thankful for. I am thankful First for my kids, Hallie, Maddie, and Hunter, and my family. Um, I'm thankful for this great place to work, and all of our customers and their dogs too. I love seeing all the dogs <laughs> um, and the ducks for winning this weekend. That's right. I'm super excited. That's it. Um, I'm thankful to have a warm home to go to every night, and this beautiful weather. It's great. <laughs> And that's a, that's a really a good thing to keep in mind is uh, the ducks. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Um, keep, keeping in mind, you know, when you come to Marathon, you know, bring your dogs in. We are a open door. It's a great place to come in and visit. If you haven't seen it here and you get to meet Sarah uh, as soon as you walk in the front door with this gray weather out here. So. It's still a beautiful view. It is. It, it, well, if there's perspective, it could be a lot worse. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So, let's move through the production floor here. So, we have Chris who says hello, Oregon, from Chris at Marathon Coach Florida. Excellent. Good morning from, uh, from Coburg to Florida. And then we also, Ken would like to know, um, and you may need to get back to him on this. How many employees does Marathon have? How many coaches does Marathon supply to NASCAR drivers? And Ken also wanted to say hello to Sarah. Hello to Sarah from Ken. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm going to get back to you on actual stats. These numbers are changing. Uh, Marathon is hiring, and so our employee uh, count, I'll, I'll check with Mr. Warner, because it's constantly moving up. And also NASCAR drivers, how many NASCAR drivers we supply um, with their beautiful coaches, that's also moving up. And I know um, we, uh, we've got uh, one in production right now for a driver. So let's head out to the main plant here. And uh, I know we're gonna, it's, it's a longer show today, but it's Thanksgiving week. A lot of people are not working later this week, so we're gonna go a little bit longer today. So, anything else before we move on, Mickey? Um, just that Chris is on break, so he's enjoying the show. Awesome. Chris in Florida, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for being part of the Marathon family. You know, we don't get to talk a lot about uh, the, the uh, team down in Texas and the team down in Florida, but they're just as important as anyone else uh, on the Marathon team and the family. So, uh, 
if you guys are in the Texas or Florida area or you need uh, sales or service, those are the locations to go. Great, great spot in Florida, good spot in Texas, and of course, uh, the mothership here in Coburg, Oregon. And then we did have Sherry who says, I love my marathon coach. Thanks. Awesome, Sherry. Thanks for coming in and watching Marathon Mondays. I think it's break time here, so look at that beautiful brand new coach over there. All right, so it's break time, so it's a little bit quiet. I say we uh, head over to see what's going on in, um, let's go to purchasing first. See what those guys are doing. I'm looking around to see who else we can grab as we move along. If you guys have any questions or comments while we're moving through the building, feel free to ask. If I fall, it's because I'm walking backwards. We're headed down by the service department, and many of you guys know Leon and Angie. We're going to go see if we can find them, but you also know Kurt. And if Kurt knows we're coming, bottom line is he's going to pick up the phone and act busy. Oh, he just put it down. He's on break time, so let's see if we can grab him. See, there he goes. <laughs> I... Well, Kurt was here, and that's the best part of trying to get Kurt on camera, which we've evaded so far. Let's go down here. This is really cool. You get to see the pictures of our service department guys, our paint team. If you've ever been to the service department here at Coburg Marathon, you know how uh, experienced our guys are and you also know how organized they are. This donut's been here since Friday. Guarantee it. It's like a cinnamon roll. It's been threatening me for four days. Okay. Let's head into the service area here. All right. Everybody, let's see if we can, Leon, welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. We're going around the building asking people what they are familiar with you. You've been with the company a long time. You've helped a lot of people out. What are you thankful for on Thanksgiving week? I'm really thankful for my wonderful, beautiful wife. I have three wonderful kids and five outstanding grandsons. Five so, grandsons, oh my yes. goodness. Yep. Wow. Well, there, there it is right there. And that's kind of a common thread that we've heard uh, throughout the building is thankful for the family. And yep. I didn't know you had five grandsons. I five grandsons. I, I'm also thankful for Marathon. I've been here for over 29 years. It's been a good life. Absolutely. Well, a lot of people really like seeing you on camera because they know you and they've gotten to know you over the years. and multiple owners and multiple coach owners, so thank you for your time. You betcha. Awesome. All right, let's see if we can invade Angie's space. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So we're live on Marathon Mondays, and uh, we just asked Leon, wanted to ask you, what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving week? Thanksgiving week, I'm thankful for my family, my health, my friends, my job, and my fur babies. Your fur babies. Yes. Tell us about your fur babies. I have three dogs, two beagles and one chewini. A chewini. A chewini. She's part, part beagle and part um, chihuahua. Gotcha. Yes. A and chewini. then a cat. What's your cat's name? Irie. Irie. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I am thankful for our dog. I tell you what, we have a Yorkie. Oh, yes. Yeah, an 11. Dad has four of them. Four Yorkies? Yes. One is enough, and she's a handful, but she's a wonderful, smart dog. Mm -hmm. We lost our dog and cat last year. Uh, we had a golden retriever and a kitty. But our 11-year-old our Yorkie is enough personality to go around. So oh, yeah. she's a great dog. They're awesome. Tough dog, too. Absolutely. Awesome. So thank you uh, for letting us come in and, and talk about Thanksgiving. I think we're going to go find out what's happening in purchasing. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, you Angie. Later. You're welcome. So a lot, a lot of people get to see Angie. She's uh, like Sarah is at the front of the building. Angie's the first person you see here. 
and over the years. Angie, how long have you worked with Marathon? I just started my 24th year, August 23rd. Wow, 24 years. So there it is. You know, Leon's been here 29, almost 30 years. Angie's been here. You don't look old enough to have been here 24 <laughs> years. I just thought of that. Bottom line is a lot of experience and a lot of you have known these people a long time. And so it's really cool to, for them to allow us to ask them this question on Thanksgiving week. Thanks, Angie. Thanks, Al. So our friend Ken wants to know if Kurt really does exist and wants to say hi to Leon and hi to Angie. And that's from who? Ken. Ken. Hi, Ken. Ken. Angie says hi. I'm sure Leon does too. Yes, Kurt exists. We know it because every time we come through with the camera, he goes a running. So we see, we see the back of him running away. And that's kind of that's kind of the running gag here on Marathon Mondays. <laughs> All right, I like these. You know, this is such a simple thing, but I love the embroidered pillow blanket. Unzip it, and you got a blanket inside. That's a really cool item. All right, service center manager's office, Chris Welch. He's out this week. Knock, knock, purchasing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. Morning. Good morning. We are live on Marathon Mondays. So this is, I think this is the first time we've been in your guys' department to talk to you. So That's correct. I love it. Here we are. It's Thanksgiving week. I want to go around the room and ask everybody, John, what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving week? I am thankful for my amazing wife. And we got to talk to your wife. All right. Uh, if you don't know, this is John Craft and Brenda upstairs, whose favorite color is teal, <laughs> and she's thankful for opposable thumbs. <laughs> she, uh, how long have you guys been married? 27 years. 27 years. Oh, my goodness. So we just got to meet your wife. So go ahead, John. Sorry yep. to interrupt you. I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for a great place to work, and thankful for my health. That's great. Yep. How long have you been with Marathon? Five years in January. Excellent. Awesome. I love the purchasing department. <laughs> Faye. Hi. Talk to us. What are you thankful for on Thanksgiving week? I'm thankful for my healthy family, and um, a nice place to work also, and um, Something more locally, I'm thankful for my grandson, Bo Burnett, is on the Churchill Lancers football team, and they won the semifinal game on Saturday night, and they're going to state finals next Saturday. That's great. Now, That's that was a, was that an upset? I guess we could consider them, because they weren't really favored to win that game, were they? I don't think so. Yeah, but, it was um, a big win for them. They've been, they've just had an amazing season, an amazing season. Oh. Well, tell us about Bo. He's a football player there, right? He is um, defense line, okay. and um, and his name was mentioned several times in Saturday night's game, and he had many tackles, and he um, also they the team blocked a punt, and he ran in, ran the ball in for a touchdown. No way. He's a junior at Churchill, and hopes to. Um, finish out at Churchill and then go on to one of the local colleges with a football scholarship. Wow. Those are his goals. The Highlanders, right? Churchill Highlanders, is that Lancers. what it is? Lancers. Lancers. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place. That's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So one of the one of the high schools here in town is Churchill. It's one of the larger schools and I think the Eugene area has about six major schools, and Churchill's one of them, and they are... So it's state championship, right? Yes. That's big for them. That's really big. Okay. Let's go see what Vivian's doing before we, we go in here and mess with Dale. <laughs> what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving week? I'm thankful for my family and my friends, and I'm thankful to be a team player at Marathon Coach. Absolutely. That's something we heard uh, walking throughout the building is uh, people are thankful to Marathon and thankful for the team here at Marathon. Marathon is a great company to work for. I mean, this is my second time back to Marathon Coach after the economy crash, but you know what? We're coming back and we're heavy and we're strong and we're going to absolutely the market. That's right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. All right. The Orange Office.
This is probably my favorite office in the building because it is decor correct. Dale Lindgren. Good morning. Good morning. All right. It's our first time into your department. Dale's the head of purchasing here at Marathon. And you're a big Beaver fan. We can see that. I love this. We've got to show this, Todd. It's so simple. Yet it's a so, statement. Yeah, it's a statement. I love it. So talk to us what you're thankful about on Thanksgiving week. Well, I'm thankful for a, a wonderful family. And thankful for the health of my family right now. And uh, also, I work with a great team of professionals here in, in purchasing and shipping receiving. I'm real thankful for all those people. That's great. That's awesome. How long have you been with Marathon? 15 years. 15. It's kind of the common thread we've heard around the building is people being with Marathon a long time. Yes, that's true. That's wonderful. So, yep. um, yeah, thank you so much for letting us come in. I know it's the first time we've been into the purchasing department. Uh, maybe down the road we'll come in and, and get a little more in-depth into what it takes to be a, a purchasing manager for a company like Marathon. Sounds good. Yeah, wear a lot of hats. Thank you. Thank you. If I don't see you, uh, before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Have a good one with your family. All right, you awesome. Too. Thank you. All right. Let's boogie this way. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, John. Thanks. Have a good rest of your week and a good Thanksgiving if I don't see you guys. All right. See, Kurt's gone. He knew we were still in the area. All right. So we're going to head back out here to the main production floor. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the day. I would like to end by walking into a coach because, hey, that's why we do this show, to sell coaches to you. So um, I think showing off a, a coach is uh, something that we could do this morning. Everybody's back from break, so we're just going to walk through the area here. Oh, one thing. One thing. I don't think we've shown the chili cook-off episode yet. We, we filmed the chili cook-off. So Marathon has an annual chili cook-off. It's an awesome episode. If I, I, I mean, Todd, who's, hold, who's doing the camera work today... Todd did a great job, uh, very creative on it. So it's something that you'll see uh, later down the road is kind of our feature on the Marathon Chili Cook-Off. But I wanted to show you the picture. Red, home style, and hot. Check out this picture. Look at this trophy. That trophy was not only made of supplies right here, materials and supplies right here at Marathon, but it was made by the Marathon Craftsman. It's a really cool trophy with a ladle and everything. All right, so let's sign off over here with this coach over here. I was hoping we would find Dave Bash this morning, but I think he's a little busy. Um, so here we are in the, this is kind of the showroom area at Coburg. Uh, coach was just in here. We just moved it out. It's probably headed to the wash rack uh, to get a little spiffed up for uh, the rest of the week. Any comments or questions before we sign off? So we have someone who said, have a nice Thanksgiving marathon. Chili with cheese is excellent. Chili and cheese. I like that. Um, and then Ken has some follow-up questions for later about live safety equipment in each coach. Yep. Um, smoke detectors, CO detectors, that sort of thing. For sure. Yeah, and Ken, I'll make sure I get back to you on those questions that you had. Uh, thank you to everybody for watching Marathon Mondays every single Monday. Uh, thank you for participating. Uh, an example would be HB, my buddy. Thank you so much for your input and sending us that gift. Um, I'm thankful for so many things, and uh, I'll just end it by saying I'm thankful to the marketing team here at Marathon who is so involved in Marathon Mondays. Uh, without the marketing team, there is no Marathon Mondays. So thanks to everyone for watching. Feel free to comment or question right there. If you've got more direct questions or want to talk about buying this beautiful coach behind me or any of our great pre-owned that you can see on Marathon's new website, you can email me, malw at marathoncoach.com. Don't forget to check out our updated, refreshed, and polished website. It's a beautiful thing that a lot of people have been working on for a long time. Thanks to everybody. Have a good uh, 
have a good Thanksgiving week, everyone, and uh, be safe, and we'll see you next Monday. That beautiful coach, it's a beautiful thing.